things thrill Sarah Langston more than old family photo albums. It's amazing some of the images that people have out there. She's looking for any historic images of Ogden, but what she really wants are the stories of immigrants who banded together to create a sense of community. And though Chinatown, Greektown, and Little Italy are gone from Ogden, their influence remains. Then all of a sudden with the train, you had every immigrant population you can think of and every religious organization sort of coming in here. Um, and they ended up coming and staying. And, and so it made just not only downtown Ogden kind of an interesting, diverse community, but it sort of expanded upwards as you get further into Ogden. I brought pictures of my, my grandparents' um, shop they used to have down on 25th Street. Or, and, and also this is a picture of a Greek wedding. I'm really not sure where this is at. When they bring them in, we take them and we scan each individual photograph or the newspaper articles. But then we'll go ahead and take these all back and catalog them and add them to the collection. Weber State University's library plans to compile the pictures for an exhibit next fall that will combine the photographs and oral histories. This is kind of a fun one. My mom and dad got married at the Old Mill, which is no longer standing, and they got married by Harmon Perry, which was a, a mayor of Ogden. Ogden has such a unique and interesting history. People like to remember its heyday in the 1920s and 30s, but they can't ignore the decay that happened in the 1970s. Now the focus is all about revitalization and keeping a memory of that history. I love the history that has happened in Ogden and is continuing to happen. It's still on 27th Street. You look at the human element and the human interest stories of people who have lived here and have impacted um, not only Ogden, but then um, worldwide. The archivist hopes to capture the bigger picture of what Ogden once was, how it changed, and what it is now. <laughs> I think things like this shouldn't be lost. Ashton Goodell, Fox 13 News, Utah.